Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a vlog. It's just me and Lainey. Come here, Lainey. So it's just me and Buggy because Bubby and Sissy are at school, huh? Yeah. Kaysen and Lexi started back school. Well, this is Kaysen's first year of school. He started his first day of kindergarten yesterday and it is insanely bittersweet. Lexi is a junior this year, so she only has this year, next year, and then she'll graduate high school. Um, but Kaysen started his first year of kindergarten and it, oh, uh, so bittersweet. We thankfully live super close to the school, so I'm able to walk him every day. We're right around the corner from the school. So he's a walker, so I walk him to school and walk him home from school. Lainey really missed him yesterday. She was so excited to pick him up from school and Kaysen really missed being at home. It's definitely gonna be a huge adjustment for him. He um, said that all the kids were really nice and um, and everything, but it's just a very long day and he's not used to being gone every day. He did do preschool and Mother's Day out, but that was only two to three days a week for, you know, four to six hours, um, not a full school day. No, no, Lainey, don't do that. No, ma'am. So um, it is a huge adjustment for him. It's just an adjustment for everybody in general. Getting back into the swing of things with school because um, we've had Lexi um, for a long time so we're used to her school schedule and stuff but adding a second kid to school schedule is definitely different in the evenings. Like what? Yesterday evening just flew by. So, um, so yeah, we're getting back into the swing of things with school and it's an adjustment for Lainey as well because she's not used to being by herself. So it's just she and I throughout the day. So today we are gonna run some errands. We're gonna go maybe to Home Goods. I'm definitely going to Target. I picked up all my groceries yesterday, but I always forget a couple things. So we are gonna go do that today and come back home, make some lunch, and kind of just hang out and wait for everybody to get back home. We just made it to Target, but I stopped at Starbucks on the way here, and I tried something a little bit different that I wanted to tell you guys about because I don't ever hear anybody talk about this specific one, but it is, I believe, the Vanilla Bean Coconut Milk Latte. It's like a blonde coffee, vanilla bean powder instead of syrup, and then coconut milk, and it's actually really good, and it's a lot lower calorie and a lot less sugar than a lot of their other drinks, so I wanted to mention it to you guys. If you don't like coconut milk or like that coconut flavor, you won't like it but it's like a light coconut like light vanilla taste it's really really yummy so if you're looking for a new drink at Starbucks that doesn't have a ton of sugar in it you should definitely check this one out so we're at Target and Lainey spotted the gigantic cart the limo of buggies and she had to sit in it she's obsessed with all the strollers and the buggies that have like the cars or like the big seats so the tiniest tot in the store has the largest cart. the Halloween stuff at Home Goods. Yeah, all the Halloween stuff. We owe Bubby a um, skeleton. What? Oh, was that a spooky house? I want a costume on. You want a costume? What do you want to be for Halloween this year? I don't know. You don't know? Ooh, mommy likes this. It's pretty. We're back home from running our errands and we are going to be home for the rest of the day. I still need to put everything away, but Lainey was really hungry, so I decided to go ahead and make her lunch. This is her lunch for today. We're going to try out an Uncrustable. She's peanut butter and jelly, some blueberries and strawberries, and some goldfish. Also have half water, half apple juice for her. How's that jelly? Is it good? Yes. So yum. While I was at Home Goods, I just kind of like browsed around. I hadn't been in there in a while, but I got a couple bento boxes for the kids for their lunches. I got one for Kaysen and one for Lainey to try out. Um, they're just little squares. They're nice and deep, and they've got a bunch of different compartments. Um, Kaysen does take his lunch to school, and Lainey's starting preschool at the end of the month, so she has to take her lunch as well. 
So each one of these, they were only $5.99, which I thought was a really good deal. So they've got three compartments, one for like a sandwich, um, a little compartment here. Each compartment too lifts up so that you can put more food underneath. So I can give them plenty of options to choose from. And um, since Kaysen is in preschool, he's not getting as many snacks, or not preschool, kindergarten. He's not getting as many snacks and he's not grazing as much throughout the day. So I really wanted to get him a box like this that had multiple compartments so I can give him plenty of food to eat for lunch because I noticed yesterday when he got home, he was like ravenous. Um, the teacher said that the kids can have snack during the day but he has 27 kids in his class, which I feel like is a lot, especially for a kindergarten class. And his teacher said, if not everyone has a snack, then nobody can have a snack. So while I was at Target, I went ahead and got some stuff to donate snacks to the classroom. I know that those kids get hungry throughout the day. They go from, set, they get there at seven, from seven to three, that's a long day. Um, I also grabbed these little baskets because I wanted to do some pantry organization. Also, too, I wanted to organize the pantry because I want Kaysen to start helping me pack his lunch. Not that I can't do it, but I think it's important for him to, you know, pick, help pack his own stuff and start picking some of his own snacks. And just so that when the kids are hungry, they can just kind of go and grab whatever they want. Just makes it a little bit easier than having everything in those cardboard boxes. Um, and then I got Lexi a new set of sheets. Just got plain white. I'm liking the idea of just having everyone have all white sheets just because we can bleach them all keep them looking nice and crisp and clean and that sort of thing and then i just got some random stuff at target so i'm starving too i'm gonna make myself a salad for lunch today okay so this is what we're working with for lunch i'm gonna do a salad so i've got spinach and arugula in this bowl here i am going to do cucumber tomatoes onion half of a medium avocado. I blackened some lemon pepper chicken, and then I'm gonna throw some feta on top as well. And then I'm gonna do my own dressing. I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil and then lemon and mix it all up and eat it. I did this the other day and it was so delicious. The only thing that I did differently was I didn't do blackened lemon pepper on the chicken and I didn't do the feta, but I think this is going to be Delicious, can't wait to eat it. did a taste test already and it's super yummy. So I'm gonna eat, probably put Lainey down for a nap and get a workout in. It's that time. We're gonna go pick up Bubby. You ready, Lainey? Yeah. Let's go get him. Yay. Lainey's sad because she was gonna ride her scooter to get Bubby, but we got the scooter out and the battery died, so we have to charge it and she's not happy. It's okay. Come here. All right. Whew, it is too hot, Buggy. You're still sad. Oh, come on, Bubby. So happy that you're home, baby. <laughs> Holy Toledo, it is hot. It feels like a tomato or something, a hot tomato? It's a hot tamale. No, it's a hot tomato. A hot tomato? Whoo! Man, oh man, who wants a snack? You want a cold apple? Snack time. Lainey, what are you having? What's she eating for a snack? A banana. Banana, and Kason's got an apple. <laughs> 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 the 
the kids are now upstairs playing after after school snack and I quickly went through the pantry and just started decluttering things and cleaning out and just kind of reorganizing and I am currently breaking down all the boxes for all the snacks and stuff that we had. So I'm gonna show you just a few of the baskets that I filled up and how I organized them and things like that. These are the three baskets that I picked up at Home Goods. Now, when I was at Home Goods looking for baskets, I was looking at like the clear acrylic um, containers that sometimes can be used in the pantry, sometimes can be used in the fridge, but I didn't feel like spending five to ten dollars per bin and I found these it was in the front section of my home goods but it was kind of like bedroom slash bathroom organization and it came in a pack of three and it was $5.99 so it was a much better deal so I put all of our goldfish snack bags in one it filled up the whole thing this one has our little chips ahoy bags and our oreo bags the kids mostly have these after dinner if they've eaten their entire dinner. So that's kind of like their din after dinner snack. And then these are more snacks that Kaysen can grab and take to school. So we've got these little oatmeal bars. These are our favorite. By Sunbelt Bakery, we get the blueberry and the strawberry. Both are so good, I highly recommend these. And then we have a couple fruit roll-ups, fruit snacks and then our applesauce pouches. So I'm gonna put these in the pantry and show you how they look in there. It's nothing revolutionary, but I feel like this will make our lives a little bit easier. I also have this basket, which typically just holds random bits and bobs. I've had it in the pantry since day one. Um, so I decided to put more breakfast items in like protein bars, things like that. So the Power Crunch bars are my favorite. This is Kaysen's leftover Pop-Tart that he didn't eat this morning. Um, and he's he's really into Pop-Tarts. He's, he's all about that brown sugar Pop-Tart life. And then some grits, some oatmeal. Okay, my pantry is not perfect by any means. I still have a long way to go. But as of right now, it's just nice and neat and organized. So this is like our snack shelf. Um, it's the perfect height for the kids. Kaysen can come in and grab. And then um, we keep like this like our breakfast corner. So I've got our breakfast holder there. So um, I'm not like wanting to go out and buy all the fancy organizational stuff. I'm just gonna do a little bit here and there. Um, but it would be nice to have one of those Instagram worthy pantries. That's what everybody wants, right? It'd be so easy. So organized, so pretty to look at, but at the end of the day, it's a pantry. As long as I can see everything, it's fine. And then I didn't get many clips of dinner. This is just the kids' plates. We had the Alexia tater tots, the kale and cranberry salad from H-E-B, some grilled chicken, and some applewood smoked chicken sausage. So it's the next day. I did not get a chance to end the vlog yesterday. Lainey and I are getting ready to go run some more errands. I will say with the kids, the big kids being back at school, running errands is a lot easier with just one kid, but Kaysen had a really rough morning. Today is day three of school and he was very sad this morning. He cried a lot and it's really hurting my mama heart that he is so sad when he goes to school. I know that once he's there, he's okay, but um, it's just a really big adjustment for him and it, it has been a little bit harder on him than I anticipated. So I've just been giving him a lot of love when he gets home and I keep being positive for him and I keep telling him that everything is gonna be okay and he's going to have a great day and just try to be really positive for him. But if you guys have any tips or words of encouragement that I can give to him, I would really appreciate it. Also, I am planning on filming Lainey's three year update soon. This is going to be my last update for her. I just feel like after three, um, there's not as much to update on unless you guys have specific questions But if you want me to touch on or go over anything specific in her three-year update Please leave those down below or if you have any questions that you want me to answer in that video um, I plan on filming that in the next couple of days and um, also any other requests that you have for me I would really appreciate you letting me know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video Be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye and Lainey wants more food. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.